Hi everyone, it's me. So I don't know about you, but I have been loving those dance party follow along workouts that are on YouTube. I'm sure you've seen them, like MadFit posts a million of them and they're so much fun. They're basically just follow along dance party workouts where it's just a bunch of fun dance moves. They might throw in like a couple of squats here and there, but they do help you get your butt off the couch on those days where you don't really want to work out but you feel like you should keep your body moving. But I am curious to see how many calories these workouts actually burn and how effective they actually are. So this week, I'm going to do a similar thing to my viral hit workout videos, where I will be trying seven different dance party workouts from different influencers, and I will be tracking the amount of calories burned Per workout. For the videos where I tried the HIIT workout, the average of calories burned for the good ones seemed to be around 70 calories for a 15 minute HIIT workout. So we'll use that as a baseline comparison. And then at the end of this video, same format, I will give you the ranking of the calorie counts and then also ranking of my personal preference of which one I thought was the most fun. If you're interested in the calorie portion of this video, I am roughly 100 pounds, so take that into your calculations of how many calories you would burn versus how many I burn. Okay, are you ready for the lineup this week? This week, we will be trying workouts from Mad Fit, Pamela Reif, The Studio by Jamie Kinkiade, Kira Pro, Sunny Funny Fitness, Pop Sugar Fitness, and Tegan Dixon. All right. So let's get into the first video. Today I'm going to be doing one from MadFit. Let's get into it. So I know I'm gonna post this video onto YouTube after Christmas, but right now, currently, at the time I'm filming it, today is December 19th, so we're really getting into that Christmas time and I'm in a Christmas mood. So for the MadFit workout, I have chosen her 15 minute Christmas dance party workout. And I'm also wearing Christmas colors. <laughs> I also found in the new Apple Watch software update, there's like a bunch of new modes and there's one workout mode called dance. <laughs> Look at the little guy. Let's get started. Okay, so I just finished the Mad Fit Christmas 15 minute dance party workout. Had a lot of fun, could you tell? The results are in and oh my gosh, you're going to be so surprised because I am too. This workout burned 75 active calories for 15 minute dance party workout. This is even more calories than I burned in the Mad Fit HIIT workout that I tried a couple months ago. And it's also more calories than all seven of the HIIT workouts that I just tried last week in my video. I think we're onto something with these dance party workouts. If I could just do these dance party workouts all the time and stay in shape and stay fit, that would be amazing. Cause these are so much more fun than just like doing regular workouts. This is only the first set of seven that I'm trying this week but we're off to a good start. I knew Mad Fitz was gonna be good because I love all of her dance workouts. I'll see you tomorrow when I try the next one and I hope all of these calorie counts are gonna be super high, cause that's awesome. Okay, it is day two. Today I'm going to be trying a Pamela Reif dance workout. So she does have two Christmas ones that she just posted, but one is only 10 minutes long and the other one is only seven minutes long. So instead of a Christmas themed one, I have chosen her 15 minute happy dance workout. Burn calories and smile. So let's get to this one and we'll see how much we burn in this workout. I like the way that your body move all over the floor now. Just finished the Pamela Reif 15 minute happy dance workout. 
active calories for this one is 66, which isn't bad. It's actually higher than a few of the HIIT workouts that I tried last week. So to compare this one with the MadFit one, Pamela does each dance move for a longer period of time, whereas MadFit does more like longer complex sequences of dance moves so if you don't have a lot of experience with dance or find it hard to follow some of these workouts i feel like pamela's is a good one to start with for example she does each dance move for like 30 seconds so you have 30 seconds to like master one before moving on to the next one or mad fit moves on to the next one a lot quicker. Just another thing I observed with the Pamela workout, hers is definitely more fitness based, where I know Maddie Limburner from MadFit used to be a dancer, or she still is a dancer, so her dance workouts are definitely more dance focused, and Pamela's are more fitness focused. But yeah, those are all my observations so far. I will get back to you tomorrow when I do the next one. Okay, the one I am trying today is from the studio by Jamie Kinkiade. This one looks really intense. It is called the most fun 15 minute cardio dance fitness workout ever. We'll see how it goes. We just start nice and easy right here. It was also so fun. Are you guys ready for the calorie count? I don't think you're ready. 106 active calories for a 15 minute dance workout. Oh my God. That was pretty much non-stop excitement. And the active calories for this dance party workout is 36 calories higher than the average calories I burn during a regular 15 minute HIIT workout. 36 calories more for 15 minutes. So you guys, if you want a cardio burn, skip the HIIT workouts. Do this one by the studio. I will see you tomorrow when I do the next one. Okay, let's see what we have for today. I have chosen a dance workout from Kira Pro. This one is called Grease Dance Workout. Dance fitness to songs from Grease. I really love Grease. I really love most musicals. So I'm really excited to try this one. Won't go to bed. that one. Here are the stats. So active calories for this one was only 57, which is the lowest one so far this week. Did I have a lot of fun doing it though? Yes, I did. <laughs> this one is definitely more dance-based versus fitness-based. I feel like I would treat this one more of a warm-up versus like an all-inclusive workout in and of itself. I do like that she included a warm-up at the beginning and also a cool down at the end. Although I guess that did make the more like cardio heavy part shorter, which also explains the lower calorie count. It definitely wasn't as intense as for example, the one I did yesterday, but I still had a lot of fun. I'll see you tomorrow when I try the next one. Okay, today we have one from Sunny Funny Fitness. This one has 6 million views, so it's really popular. It's called 15 Minutes BTS Diet Dance Workout. I've never been a fan of BTS, and I've never really been a fan of K-pop, but we'll see how fun this one is. Okay, I just finished that one. The active calories for this one 
or 82 active calories, which is really high. On my Apple Watch, it does say total running time 17 minutes and 10 seconds. So the running time was a little bit longer. I did feel like I got a pretty good cardio burn from this one, but I will say I'm still not a BTS fan. I kind of hated the music. I'm sorry if you like BTS, it's just not my style. But even though I didn't enjoy the music, I still got a pretty dang good workout from it. So that is it for today. I will see you tomorrow. Okay, you guys, it is Christmas Eve, so I'm wearing antlers, don't mind me. But today, we are going to be doing a dance workout from Pop Sugar Fitness. This one is called the 15 minute bounce back cardio dance workout. Let's do it. Oh. I don't think this one wants me to work out. <laughs> Nothing too intense yet. Just getting the head, neck, nice and relaxed. Okay, just finished that one. First thoughts, it wasn't that intense. Looking at my calories, it was only 52 active calories for this workout. I think this would serve as a good like warm up or cool down at the end of your workout if you want to, or just on a day if you're feeling just like not that great, but maybe want to move around a little bit for 15 minutes, this would be a good option. I do think it was fun. This workout served with a five minute warm up, and then the last 10 minutes was kind of like learning a dance like step by step like they kept introducing a new like dance step and then added it on to like the whole sequence so then the last time you did it you ran through the entire thing it was actually a good one for this christmas eve that's it for today i will do my seventh workout of the week tomorrow and let you know how that goes hi everyone it is christmas today so for my seventh dance party workout for this week i am going to be doing the Christmas dance workout from Tegan Dixon, but it's actually a collab with Kira Pro. So it's technically by Tegan Dixon and Kira Pro, but it is a Christmas dance workout. So it's perfect for today, and I'm so excited. Okay, you guys, just finished that. Had so much fun because all the Christmas music is always amazing and always makes me happy. So that one burned 60 active calories. So mid to low range, I think. But I feel like that was just a perfect workout for Christmas day to kind of get you moving. But you know, who really wants to work that hard on working out on Christmas day? Really. So how that collab worked is that they each kind of alternated doing songs. So yeah, not the most intense dance party workout, but I think for the purposes that it serves as a Christmas dance party workout, it's pretty good and pretty fun. So I'm going to uh, gather all of my thoughts and then I will get back to you with the calorie ranking and my personal preference ranking. Okay, you guys, time for the rankings of these dance party workouts. Let's do the calorie ranking first. In seventh place with 52 calories is Pop Sugar. Sixth place with 57 calories is Kira Pro. Fifth place with 60 calories is Tegan Dixon. Fourth place with 66 calories is Pamela Reif. Third place with 75 calories is Mad Fit. Second place with 82 calories is Sunny Funny Fitness. And then in first place, you guys already know it, with 106 freaking calories the studio that one was actually 
deadly. <laughs> Okay, so for my personal preference ranking now, in seventh place, I have put Pop Sugar. I put this one in seventh because of a few things. First of all, the calorie count wasn't very high. I thought it was fun how they did like the whole sequence of dance moves and then put it all together into one dance at the end. I thought that was super fun but I feel like it could have been done better. Like there were a few mistakes, they didn't seem to plan it well with the music or anything. It's still a super fun workout, so if you still wanna do it, highly recommend it. But it's seventh place for this list. In sixth place, I put Sunny Funny Fitness. So this one had a super high calorie count. Hi Sage. <laughs> so this one had a super high calorie count, 82. Sage, your butt. Okay, sit down. The reason I'm putting it in sixth place was just because I didn't like the music. It just wasn't my style of music that I like, and I feel like with a dance party workout, you really have to enjoy the music to get into it. So that is the only reason I put it in sixth place. I didn't really enjoy it that much because of the music, but it was a great calorie burn. In fifth place, I have chosen Tegan Dixon. This one was super fun. This is the one I did the Christmas workout on Christmas day. It was fun to do. It was a light workout, but I wouldn't do it on any other day other than Christmas, which is why I put it in fifth. In fourth place, I have chosen Kira Pro. This was the grease workout that I did. I think the songs were super, super fun. It didn't burn so many calories, but again, it would have just been a fun one to do on a rest day or a day where you really don't feel like moving too much. In third place, I have put Pamela Rife. I feel like this one is a solid one to do if you are not a dancer, like if you don't have any dance experience because it's super easy to follow. She does every dance move for like 30 seconds and it has a decent calorie burn for a dance party workout. In second place, I have chosen the studio. This one was insane. I thought this one was really good, really effective. So I put it in second place. And then in first place, I have chosen Mad Fit. Her dance workout was just a good balance of being fun and of being a good effective calorie burn. I've put her over the studio just because I have to be in a very certain mood to do the studio workout because it's so intense. Sometimes I don't wanna feel so intense. That is it for this seven viral dance party workouts video. If you wanna try any or all of these workouts, I have put the links in the description box below so you can try them out. Let me know which ones you liked. If there are any other dance party workouts you would like me to try, also leave them down in the comments. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and do the bell thing, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.